Hello everyone, it's Scott here and today I'll be unboxing the Japanese physical Nintendo Switch release of Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection which contains both Volume 1 and Volume 2 on a single Nintendo Switch cartridge without any downloads and, more importantly, features English text and subtitles. So if you're wanting to own a physical copy of this collection then the Japanese version is the way to go. Now to start off with, we have the front cover, which has the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection logo in Japanese. Uh, a split between red and blue, and a bit of yellow and green mixed in there as well, to highlight the different types of characters featured within the different games inside this collection, as well as a couple of stickers on the front of the box, which I'll get to later. The spine is just in Japanese, but it's just the text of the game in Japanese listing what it is. And then on the back cover, we have a bit more detail of what this collection contains. So obviously, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection Volume 1 has Battle Network 1, 2, and 3, while Legacy Collection Volume 2 has 4, 5, and 6, and it shows you a couple of key visual images to illustrate the games that are included. Now, as I mentioned, both of those collections are included inside this physical cartridge, and it's a single cartridge you'll get. Underneath that, we then have a bit of an overview of the game and the features of it, so a main menu interface, a bit of the combat, and one of the key elements that I like about this collection, which is the gallery mode, and then underneath that is all the technical details about whether the game is compatible on Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch Lite, and the game style functionalities, which, uh, as you can imagine, is compatible with all Nintendo Switch consoles. Uh, and is a one player only game in terms of the single player campaign mode. Uh, but that aside, the stickers on the front of the box are to illustrate that the game has uh, some bonus DLC. So if you purchased the game at launch or just after launch, you would have got some bonus DLC as a download code voucher inside the box, which as you can see here. So I'm not too sure what the bonus DLC is, but I believe it's an additional costume and some additional background music. Uh, you can try redeeming the codes if you like, but you need to have a Japanese Nintendo eShop account in order to do so, and more importantly, I've already redeemed them. So, good luck trying. Uh, underneath that, you'll see a better visual of the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection artwork, which looks really cool. Uh, and on the left-hand side, we have sort of support information about where you need to go if you want support in relation to playing the game. Uh, as well as any issues about the game that you want to, you know, report, etc., etc., etc. Interestingly, you can use this uh, inlay as a reversible artwork if you so desire, as it has the zero a age rating and the text of the game on the spine. But I'm not sure if you'd want to, considering that the actual main artwork on that side is really nice, and the fact that if you did spin it around. Uh, you'd have the technical support details on the back of the box, which isn't exactly particularly great to look at. And then finally, notice the cartridge in there all by its lonesome, which, as I mentioned before, is a single cartridge that holds both collections. So that's pretty much what you can expect from the Japanese physical release of Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection for the Nintendo Switch, which is available now in Japan.